Chapter 9. Then the Lord thundered, Bring on the men appointed to punish the city. Tell them to bring their weapons with them. Six men soon appeared from the upper gate that faces north, each carrying a battle club in his hand. One of them was dressed in linen and carried a writer's case strapped to his side. They all went into the temple courtyard and stood beside the bronze altar. Then the glory of the God of Israel rose up between the cherubim where it had rested and moved to the entrance of the temple. And the Lord called to the man dressed in linen who was carrying the writer's case. He said to him, Walk through the streets of Jerusalem and put a mark on the foreheads of all those who weep and sigh because of the sins they see around them. Then I heard the Lord say to the other men, Follow him through the city, and kill everyone whose forehead is not marked. Show no mercy, have no pity, kill them all, old and young, girls and women and little children, but do not touch anyone with the mark. Begin your task right here at the temple. So they began by killing the seventy leaders. Defile the temple, the Lord commanded. Fill its courtyards with the bodies of those you kill. Go. So they went throughout the city and did as they were told. While they were carrying out their orders, I was all alone. I fell face down in the dust and cried out, O sovereign Lord, will your fury against Jerusalem wipe out everyone left in Israel? Then he said to me, The sins of the people of Israel and Judah are very great. The entire land is full of murder. The city is filled with injustice. They are saying, The Lord doesn't see it. The Lord has forsaken the land. So I will not spare them or have any pity on them. I will fully repay them for all they have done. Then the man in linen clothing, who carried the writer's case, reported back and said, I have finished the work you gave me to do.